by your command. Speak. The final phase of the annihilation of Earth is almost complete. Excellent. The depopulation agenda is working perfectly. Good. Getting Bill Gates on board was a brilliant move. Well... Thank you. There is one unseen problem we did not count on. Oh? There is a small group of humans that call themselves preppers. You said something? They are aware of our takeover. <laughs> they are not going along with the mainstream news or the narrative. Quite logical. They will be a problem. Okay. You underestimate the human need for hope. Properly presented and at a propitious moment, they'll come willingly to my arms. They have been preparing for a shit hits the fan scenario. What's that? They gather information and share it on YouTube. One of these preppers is called Piney Prepper. He said something. Other silence are watching him now. This is unbelievable. You are watching Piney Prepper. It cannot be. Please like and subscribe. Ah, oh, this is Piney Prepper Bill. Today is June 2nd, 2021, I think. I uh, haven't made a video in a while. I've just been doing a lot of work in the garden, problems with the truck, and every time I went to make a video, something came up, or somebody else did a video on the same thing, and, but, I just, for the last two weeks, I've been feeling like crap, and I'm not really sure why, but, I just couldn't get into getting the video with all the other stuff coming up, you know, just things happening, the, the, the pigs, and the chickens, and the garden, and the problems with the lawnmower, problems with the truck, but I've been wanting to make a couple videos here and there, and a couple things been popping up, and I haven't gotten to those videos yet. But this thing popped up in my county. This isn't around me, but it's it's close. The Burlington County Health Department, Attention Township of Pemberton residents, the Burlington County COVID-19 Outreach Program is in your neighborhood wearing ref reflective vests. ID badges and providing info about the COVID-19 vaccine. Now this is starting to, this is how bad they're trying to get these vaccines. Our team will also provide residents with much needed resources to combat economic hardship, rental or housing assistance, food and COVID-19 testing. Mm -hmm. Now there's been a couple of comments that these people have been going door to door, knock on people's door and people have been telling them to get the hell off. Like if you haven't notice what's going on in the news or on TV or just going to a store wearing a mask, you, you know about the vaccines. They're, they're telling these people to get the hell off their property and, and it, it's getting nasty. The county's vaccine clinic this Saturday, well, this was May 15th, will also be held in conjunction with the Burlington County Board of Commissioners monthly food distribution day. From 10 a.m. to noon, families in need will be able to pick up free boxes of groceries and receive a vaccination shot. Now, is this around you? Have you seen any of this stuff happening? I mean, we were watching a thing on the, the GOP or whatever, the governors from different states. Some states never did a lockdown. They never closed schools. They didn't close any schools. Amazing. Governor Nolan, you, you were on the show regularly mm -hmm. throughout this pandemic. South Dakota never shut down. Never. Uh, we didn't close a single business ever. Uh, we, in fact, in South Dakota, we didn't even define what an essential business was. Because according to the oath I took to the South Dakota Constitution, the U.S. Constitution, I didn't believe I had the authority to tell anybody that their business wasn't essential. Um, I told my people I would trust them and that I was going to let them use personal responsibility to take care of their families. But keep their doors open, um, provide for their employees and their customers. And the people of South Dakota, uh, you know, appreciated it. We never sh issued a shelter in place, didn't mandate any masks or anything. And today we have the fastest uh, growing GDP in the fourth quarter at 9.9% in the country. Our unemployment's 2.8%. Uh, 
we have the least amount of jobs lost, businesses closed, hours lost, wages lost from any employee in the country. And so what we did is we used conservative principles that we all talk about all the time. We've talked about them for years. We did them. Uh, and we're proving that it worked. And so that's really the story that I think we need to tell about 2020 is that leadership has consequences. And you just look at Democrat states and what happened to families and businesses there, you look at Republican states and how they're growing and they're thriving and what all these leaders up here did, how it works for the American people. So we talk about statistics and facts all the time, but those stories are gonna be powerful when we uh, change the majority in Washington, D.C., and we change who's in the White House. It's still aren't in school. Florida schools have been open since August. How is it possible they're watching you do this successfully and they still don't learn from it? Well, I think it's been a, probably the biggest mistake, tragedy, is locking these kids out of school. They're not following science. Mm -hmm. This is politics and ideology, and quite frankly, it's a disgrace. I was in Baker County, Florida. They celebrated the 180th day of being open, the full school year. They did the full school year, finished it today uh, from the very beginning, and every single parent from the beginning had the right to send their kids to school in person. Uh, I think there's obviously a lot of other policies that really mattered. Obviously, we didn't, we prevented uh, COVID patients from being sent to nursing homes. We created COVID-only nursing facilities to protect the most vulnerable. I think that that mattered, but I can tell you, locking kids out of school for over a year, that's gonna have ramifications for our country and those states that's not going to be days, weeks, months. It's going to be years. And some of these kids are not going to have a future as a result of those bad policies. All the kids went to school. They never mandated the mask mandate. They never put into effect the mask mandate. So no stores ever closed. Their businesses are booming. They've had low COVID results, low deaths, low people sick. They didn't have a problem. It's only these states where we had the lockdowns and people wearing their masks were getting sick from wearing a mask. All around here, nobody's working. Well, some people are working, but stores, every place you go, help wanted. Incentives, $500 sign-up bonus, $1,500 sign-up bonus, vaccine incentives and all this stuff to get people to work. These other states haven't had any problem whatsoever. They've never closed. And around here, certain places were closed. Even if Walmart was open or Home Depot, certain things weren't essential. You couldn't get gardening stuff. You couldn't buy a trowel or a shovel. You couldn't buy seeds. Some places you couldn't even buy a bed. You could buy a TV to stay home, but you couldn't buy a bed. You couldn't buy paint. But a couple of these governors even said, who are they to say who's essential and who's not? So they didn't close anything down. They didn't make people get vaccines or wear a mask. They left it up to their, the residents, to people in their city. Every town was a little bit different. But for that state, it was up to the person. If you want to wear a mask, you can wear a mask. If you don't, you don't. If you think this is bad, then stay home and order stuff online or whatever you want to do. They weren't requiring all this other bullshit. And they fared better. Now, in New Jersey, they've opened everything up. You don't need to wear a mask, especially if you're vaccinated. Everything's open. There's no more social distancing. So we went to the store the other day and weren't wearing masks, but you still, 90% of the people aren't wearing a mask. It's like everything is normal, like it used to be, the old normal. But you still have a couple people wearing a mask looking at you like, get away from me, get away from me. It's getting bad. And I see this, I see this getting worse. Now they have the COVID team going door to door to see who's been vaccinated, who isn't. I, I see past what they're doing. They're trying to give information on how good the vaccine is if you haven't had it and you're holding out because you're not sure. I think this is more like the Gestapo going door to door to see how many people are in your house, how many people have got it, and how many haven't. Remember, like during the hurricanes or like natural disasters, the houses that had the marks on the door how many survivors, how many dead, and all that stuff. And so they knew when they rode by, they knew if the house was searched or not. This is the same type of thing. They're not marking your door, 
but it's going to be on an app that they have that they can share with the police department and homeland security or something that's my point of view only um, have you noticed any of this in your state where you live are they opening things up do you think they're going to close things down again I mean right right now everything used to be okay but as far as the nobody's working everywhere you go restaurants are closing hours because they can't find people to work and they're paying overtime so have you seen people going door to door in your state or in your town I mean this is in my county it hasn't happened here yet I don't think they're gonna be walking down our driveway we're in the middle of nowhere but if you're in like the residential area where I mean do you notice this stuff uh, this is Pony Prepper Bill. I hope you liked that little intro I did. It was just something, I don't know, just something I threw in there. This is Pony Prepper Bill. Until the next video, I got more stuff I want to talk about. I just got to get in the mood to actually make these things. And I felt like crap for the last two weeks, and it was I'm bombarded. I've been bombarded with news of all the stuff that's going on, and I needed a mental break. You know, and with all the stuff that was going on around the house and breaking and not working and stuff that had to be done, I ran the rototiller in the garden and my back was killing me. And then we got four days of rain and it flooded. So I don't know how that garden's going to turn out. But I just had to get away from everything. I stopped watching TV. I stopped watching the news. I haven't touched my phone other than to text my wife or text my mom or something. But every time I turn my phone on, it, it's a news or this pops up that I had to get away from all of it. So after the last week and a half, two weeks, I've had no contact with the outside world. And I feel a lot better. So this is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll be bringing you a video soon, hopefully. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.